Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Tech Time with T. Uh, today I have a uh, 2011 Nissan Xterra, and the um, the heat shield is roaring. So we're gonna do a quick fix for you. We got some clamps, adjustable clamps, and we just tie it up. Probably one in the back, one in the front, and one in the middle, and we are good to go. The roaring gonna be gone. Let's go for it. As you can see, um, the welding of the from the manufacturing was rotted, and this thing like it's the uh, when the heat shield actually just ha like like uh, laying up here. Well, usually it was uh, it was welded, and this was uh, holding to the um, exhaust and now uh, the exhaust pipe now it's actually it's gone. It's loose. That's why we're gonna use the um, aftermarket. Um, just clamp it right here together, so it, that way it won't rattle anymore. So that's what we're doing right here. We only need one, I guess that's all you need. There you go, right there. You can hear it. That's where it's from. Alright, let's do it. Guys, right, so as you can see, uh, at the market, this is we got from uh, Vance Auto, um, the clamp. Um, it's an adjustable clamp, so that's what it is. Um, it's a quick fix, adjustable clamp. Um, as you can see, there's a, the, the ring is like, the old ring is like a smaller because it actually the flap is out here right now. And that's how you get it when uh, you brand new from the um, Advance Auto. So basically, you, right now you got like an, uh, a ring right now, like a small ring. So what you want to do is do it counterclockwise on the screws so it come out and so that way you can wrap uh, the heat shield with the, um, on the, the, ex the exhaust pipe. So basically that's what you do is just uh, do it counterclockwise on the screw right here. Just keep going all the way out. Use a flathead screwdriver. I can see the flap is like is going out and the ring is getting bigger. It's supposed to be like that. And once you uh, wrap um, the heat shield with the um, on the the exhaust pipe, you want to do a clockwise. So basically, you want to close it back. Almost there. Keep going until it actually completely out, and then you just right there. That's what it looked like. So basically, you just wrap the um, the heat shield on the the exhaust pipe, and then you just put it back and just tighten it, and that's all you need to do. Just get it done. Get the noise out. Customers happy. I'm happy. Let's go for it. Under the car. Alright, so uh, we're under the car, and what you do is just uh, wrap the clamp on top of the uh, uh, heat shield, and then with on top of the uh, what is the exhaust pipe. And what you want to do is just feed it back the uh, just with clamp, and then you start doing clockwise. So it's automatically it's gonna start feeding it. Almost there, it's getting tighter, you can see. I think we are good, believe it or not. Oh yeah. You can see the normal rattle at all, you can feel it. It's, it's gone, no more noise. And this is the... Okay, this is Max right there. Not coming out until actually uh, three or four years later, maybe it's gonna be rotted again. Never know, and then we gotta do it again. Hopefully, the uh, heat shield is still good, but so far, this the noise is gone, so we are all set to go. Guys, okay, that is how you do a, a quick fix on a, um, a rattling uh, heat shield. Uh, so, basically, you just need a clamp. I got two clamps from Advanced Auto. I wasn't sure if you needed the uh, second one, so I got two anyway. It's two bucks each, so why not? It's just in case on the safe side, I got two, but I only need one. So that is how you fix it. So um, thank you for watching uh, Tech Time with T. And uh, this was 2011 Nissan Xterra. And that is how to do a quick fix. Please do not forget to uh, review my video. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And we will have more video for you. And don't forget thumbs up.
and thank you, and you have a good day. Take care. Bye bye. Quick fix, no more rattling. Job is well done and good to go. Thank you.